The largest biogas project of its kind is transforming one of the largest hog production operations anywhere. And it could transform agriculture and energy production as we know it. So in developing this model, we're looking at not only Smithfield, but how can we take this same model throughout the Midwest and eventually to developing nations around the world. By the end of 2015, nearly half the 88 lagoons that collect manure from nearly 2 million hogs at nine Smithfield farms in northern Missouri will have impermeable covers. This step alone captures methane, reduces odor, and prevents rainfall from entering the lagoons. This is a project that will help us um, continue down that path of sustainability that um, as, as we raise pigs and we produce protein for the world, that we're doing a good job environmentally, we're doing a good job in our communities, uh, we're producing safe pork, uh, and we're doing it safely for our employees. The covers convert the lagoons into anaerobic digesters. Initially, the resulting biogas is flared off, but will eventually become a source of truly renewable energy. These are the kinds of things that are good for the company, they're good for the area, they're good for society, and we have to continually keep that in mind because this is just the first step. The biogas created at Smithfield's Ruckman Farm will be piped to this location and then purified into renewable natural gas. The equipment to clean the biogas of impurities is being unitized and preassembled at Raceline Modular Fabrication in Redbud, Illinois for installation in early 2016. The pipeline quality gas will enter the natural gas grid system thanks to a pipeline running across Ruckman. So end users like Duke Energy in North Carolina can have access to this renewable energy source. We have a pretty good idea of how much biogas each one of those digester systems can produce. And so as we replicate that over more farms, um, that's going to have a, another real nice impact. Raceline Alternative Energy plans to install an above-ground reactor at Ruckman, where harvested prairie grasses would create even more renewable natural gas. And so this is an experiment in trying to come up with a way to generate revenue that really uses grassland and provides the ecological services that grassland would normally provide. And it's, it's important from an economic standpoint to provide an economic return that's equal to or greater than what's normally used in the agricultural paradigms of today, but it's also important to wildlife, as what Aldo said was, if a thing preserves the integrity, stability, and the beauty of the biome, it is right. If it doesn't, it is wrong. And so looking at it in that sense, we have the science and knowledge today to do those things, but do we have the political will? Do we have the financial will? And when I, took on this project, I realized that most farmers are busy in the day-to-day -day activity of trying to make a living, and you can't have just purely altruistic reasons. I'm in a fortunate position where I can do this, and hopefully use this as a demonstration model to show that there are economic benefits that will promote the use of this beyond just altruistic reasons.